So aside from the usual questions about how to mix drums and vocals and guitars and how to get a better snare sound and a better bass tone, the next most common question I hear is, how do I start getting clients? A lot of people are struggling with this and I hear things like, there's not enough bands in my area, I'm not good enough yet, there's too many other nice studios and more experienced producers around me, no one's gonna come to me, I don't know where all the bands are. A lot of reasons, a lot of excuses about why they can't seem to land any clients, and frankly, a lot of complaining and some kind of victimhood style statements. And yet, month in and month out, year in and year out, we have members in our community who are landing their first clients, their biggest clients, getting booked up months in advance, and even going full-time in the studio. In fact, this year, in the midst of the global pandemic, when everyone was shut down, we've had three guys get busy enough to go full-time as producers and engineers in their studio. One of them was Will from Atlanta, and we had him on inside our private members community recently to talk about his story and give some advice for others in the group who were looking to land more clients and eventually go full-time like he did. And I wanted to share this with you because he said something that I think is gonna blow you away and you're really gonna wanna pay attention and take notice of this. So here's the clip from Will. I'll tell you guys this, the clients aren't gonna come to you. I sent out about 500 personal emails to bands in Atlanta. Out of the 500, two responded. Oh, two bands. Dang. Basically one of those bands was a band called Posadas and they booked up three to four albums for the rest of the year wow. with me. That's and that great. came from giving them more value than they deserved in the beginning. Uh, I did a live stream with them from here. I've been working with them on other stuff. And they they were so grateful they came back and I, you know, we're gonna try and record with you. And they loved it. And they're in there, they booked three albums with me for That's this year. Amazing. Another instance of that is there was this guy who was a uh, post on a Facebook from North Carolina. Uh, he yeah said is there a studio i can record nearby i was like ah, should i reach out to him or not like would this be weird if i did so and i said i should comment i said hey i've got a studio in atlanta if you're willing to make the drive uh flash forward to today we are finishing up a master for him which turns out peter keys from leonard skinner is on the track playing nice. that was the moment where i was like wow this is insane like <laughs> You gotta so you got to take the chances, you know, um, and now like after doing all this like word spread around a little bit and um, I'm starting to get hits from random people, you know, on the website on Facebook and people are starting to come in yep. But it took a while um, It took a long time But initially like I wouldn't have gotten here if I hadn't just you know made the jump and reached out to some people So that's really important um, for my journey 500 emails 500 emails I hope that this is causing you to really examine yourself and ask yourself some questions. Like, am I really trying? When I hear that story, am I really trying hard to get clients? What's the difference between the level of effort and commitment that we'll put in compared to mine? These are good questions to be asking yourself. And truthfully, while there's a lot of people out there who say they're struggling to get clients, in reality, that just means that they sent three or four emails that didn't get a response. Fact is, if no one knows who you are, and if no one knows that you have a studio and have the ability and the skills to use that studio and record for people, then you're not gonna have any clients coming in. And in the beginning, the only person who can spread that word is you. This reminds me of a personal story, something that happened to me over this past year. There was someone in our neighborhood going door to door, uh, selling lawn care services uh, to, to get rid of the weeds. And they knocked on our door and I wasn't home at the time and my wife uh, kindly referred them to me, gave them my phone number to talk to you about it. And I kid you not, this company called me every single day for probably three or four months and I never answered the phone. I never picked it up. I never talked to them. Uh, it was annoying. I wanted them to stop calling. But guess what? A few months go by. There's more and more weeds coming in our lawn. I'm trying to deal with it myself. It's not working. And I start thinking to myself, maybe I should get someone in to help me with this. Now, who do you think was the first company that popped into my mind? So what if you took a page out of Will's book? What if you set aside just one morning a week to send out five emails to artists in your area. Well, over the course of a year, that means you would be sending over 250 emails just by making that small commitment, and that is bound to have an impact. And when you start doing this, don't be so easily discouraged. Even if 99 out of 100 don't respond to you, well, that doesn't mean that they all didn't read the message. Maybe they did, and they're just not ready to come in right now. But when they are, since you've reached out, especially if you follow up periodically, 
you're gonna be top of mind when they are ready. On the flip side, you might be surprised what happens. One of our VIP members, Reese, he lacked the confidence for years to get himself out there and reach out to potential clients about paid projects. But once he decided to overcome that hurdle and start reaching out, he landed a project almost immediately. So yes, it takes work, it takes effort, but you've gotta be willing to lay that foundation. But the good news is that this is a short-term job that you've gotta do. Once you start getting some projects rolling in, word of mouth will spread. Clients will come back, they'll tell others about you. And for most engineers and producers, that word of mouth alone is enough to keep them booked up months in advance, year in and year out, without having to do any outreach. So if that's where you wanna be one day, you've gotta start planting those seeds now. No matter what level you're at, start right now. Now, if you wanna hear an amazing story of someone who went from pretty much rock bottom to building up a consistent, stable, full-time studio business, click the video link that's popping up here on the screen. This is gonna give you chills, honestly. So go ahead, watch that right now, and we'll talk to you later.